Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you I am trying to make pins. I used a polymer clay of different colours um, and I used these tools to help me um, sculpt these. So these ones are circles and all of them started out as circles, little balls, and then I smushed them and then I either pinched them and rounded the pinches or I took the little parts off and then added them back on. I just kind of smushed one end. Um, and so I've got flowers, stars, these are going to be blueberries, mushrooms, strawberries, and then these are going to be frogs. Uh, I'm not sure how many more I'm going to make of all of these because I maybe wanted to try make some other designs which are in my sketchbook uh, and maybe I'll show you guys later. later. So, so I wanted to show you them before I started painting them because I'm going to need to glue on the pin backings. Uh, and then paint them because obviously strawberries don't have pink leaves, they have green leaves and then these ones need faces and quite a few of them have faces actually I think all of them have faces so yeah, um, cool this is my first vlog so I don't really know how to do this okay, so um, I've put pin backings on all of my um, pins and to do that I use B7000 glue as well as the pins and the pin backings I just like put them on put a little bit on and stuck them down I didn't show you because I was on my lounge floor as this needs ventilation to dry and I didn't want to have that in my room which is where I do all my stuff so it's dry I left it for 24 hours and now I'm going to paint it them here they are all painted. I gave the frogs different faces, which have just gone off screen. The blueberries got sad faces. The strawberries were kind of looking to the side. The stars just got eyeballs, which made some someone pointed out looked like um, Mario Kart ones, but I didn't mean for that. And then the others, I will show you now. And these ones just got happy faces, as well as the other flowers and I do know that it's not facing like that it's a weird way I've painted on it and I did that just for the fun of it and then there are flowers that have been painted with the right way around I guess you could say and then the mushrooms got little eyes and mouth it mouse mouths and then some of them got eyelashes um, because I thought why not To give them the glossy shine, which I am showing you, I used UV resin and I had a nail lamp, which you'd think I use for my nails, but I don't, and this is me showing you what it looks like. And it came out quite nice, nicely. I did have to put them in for a very, very long time, and I did the underside with the pins first and put them on, and then I did the top to, and yeah, and that's how I did it. This is the pin backing. So this is written uh, with a ballpoint pen in different colors. This is a purple color from another type of ballpoint pen. And then this was made using a stamp, which I carved and then just pressed into the ink and pressed on here. And this is what it looks like. And the paper is just left over card. Here is me at the table, uh, I'll show you what the setup was in a second, but this is what the pins looked like um, on the backings, and yeah. And this is my view of the table. You can see different views on my Instagram page, which I will link in the description. This was all that there was left at the end of the day. The Toto stickers are quite a bit of them sold. I did buy one, get one free. Uh, and then these are all the pins that are left. There are only 
two casualties for um of the whole day and this happened when oops this happened when I was trying to put them on the pin rackings you know the hole you can see there and I just didn't put it over far enough and they ended up um, breaking off the pins so I'll glue them on um, these there are quite a few left so these I kept for myself and then um, some other ones like the pink flower as well as lots of different kinds will be going towards friends and families for Christmas. This here are the sales. So the first thing that I got bought was a frog and some Totoro stickers and then someone bought one of the enamel pins and a sticker. Quite a few stickers after that and then an enamel pin. The enamel pins were just things I had lying around like different birds and some deers. Um, so that's I, I wasn't using them and I thought why not it was the same with the stickers because I had so many then someone bought a mushroom pin and then more stickers then um, a flower purple flower sticker then a frog um, more stickers and then lastly were some pins and in total I made around 50 pounds Ignore this, this was because my friend uh, let me borrow some money and then I paid her back so I had to subtract what I made from this to give to her. But yeah, my aim for the day was to make around £50, £30 and this extra money came here, came from my mum who very kindly bought some of my pins to give to her co-workers. There we go.